Hey, Stinky Looks Back tonight. That's right, we've got Browser Linux 3.5.5. Now, I've not looked at Browser Linux for quite a while, so I thought we'd give it a little look to see what's happened. That is the new version, the 3.5.5 for newer hardware, which means newer old hardware. Right, you still have to set up the internet yourself when you first log in. I've actually installed this, by the way, onto our little hard disk. Right, it's connected, yeah, it wants to connect to my Ethernet. Auto HCP. And basically, it has a look, and you're connected. There you go. We save the settings, and then next time we reboot the system, it knows what to look for. Super duper. So that's done. Uh, as in the name, Browser Linux. Browser Linux is for browsing. And that's it. Nothing else. You don't get nothing else with it. Just a browser, which is Firefox 3.5. But 5, even. Here's the main screen. Really, really quick, I must admit. Very, very quick. So what should we do? We'll go to the browser Linux home. Here it tells you all about it. 78 meg download. Very, very small. Takes a couple of minutes, doesn't it, really? Comes with Flash pre-installed, PDF reader, music player. That's your lot. He's done a few changes since the last one, it seems. So that looks something dory, doesn't it? Yeah. But what if you've got an old computer? So you want the older version, which is 353. Now, if you've got a really old machine, as long as it's got a decent video card, you'll be fine running the web with this, I reckon. So, give that a go if you've got a really old machine somewhere, hidden in a cupboard. Oh, by the way, on this one, you can also add extra apps, like a mouse, server, etc., etc., spreadsheets, Abbey Word, the usual. You can actually do that on that version. So, maybe it'd be better to go with that version anyway. But if all you want to do is browse, and you've just got an old thing lying about, the current version is very, very, very good. But use the old one anyway. So anyway, we'll come out of the browser. As you can see, there's nothing here, there's no menu. So if you right click, you get the browser, audio player, calculator, text editor, the terminal, network menu, and more. Now if you click more, basically it opens up the file with all the stuff that's still there really. So you've still got all this stuff on the system. There's no men menu entries for it whatsoever. So I'll scroll down a bit, you can see some stuff. Look, you've got YouTube Pup Desktop, all your video stuff there, and wireless stuff, Network Wizard, it's all there, Gparted there, etc. Et if I clicked on down here the Universal Installer, one click, and it takes you to the Universal Installer like it would before, but there's no menus or anything like that. That's all it is. So that's super though, anyway, isn't it? I like that, that's cool. And that 78 mega ain't too bad at all, is it? Because remember, everything is still here. So unlike some of the other smaller distros, say Tiny Core, bear one, that is only 10 meg, you've got to get your browser and all that and spend a bit of time before you start. This one you don't, it's ready to go. Then again, Slide has, on the other hand, has a lot of it already there, doesn't it? So anyway, we'll check out the video playing bits. We'll go to YouTube. See, really, really quick browser. Really, really quick. And we're just going to click on the video just to make sure it works. What should we do? There we go, we'll have a look at this one here, see what it looks like. Click on the vid, here it goes. Da -da 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 -da. Videos play fine, super duper. So, browser Linux, not too bad at all, is it really? Now, bearing in mind we've got a really old system, like I said before, go for the older one. We've got a newer system, go for this one. It's not bad. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.